Here we are again with a horrible study story. This time we're studying the locations of Africa. And we're not learning all of the locations of Africa. We're learning a select few. So in this horrible study story, um, I will say that although the silly, this study story is silly and some people may not like it, it does help remember the locations for the quiz. So in this study story, we are starting with our main character, Susie. Susie lives on the Suez Canal. Right here, the Suez Canal connects the Red Sea to the Mediterranean Sea. So Susie, the Suez Canal. Susie is an environmentalist and she has always wondered why the Red Sea is so red. They call it the Red Sea because it has a red tint to it. So Susie is wondering why the Red Sea is so red. Here's the Red Sea where this red crayon is. So she decides to go on an investigative journey. First, she stops in the big E, Egypt. Here's the Egypt. So she sees the pyramids and the Sphinx, but she doesn't find any clues about the Red Sea. So she floats on a boat for a while in the Nile. Here is the Nile River right here. And she realizes that she gets sick in a boat. So she switches over. She gets out of the boat and she switches to a sedan. A sedan is another word for a car, okay? So she switches to a sedan and this country here is Sudan. And Sudan is actually separated into North and South Sudan, but this whole country used to be one, now it is two. But here is the sedan. Sudan is right here. So she got this sedan. She rented it from a guy called Chad. Here's Chad. And if you look at this picture, this picture, he's just facing front. But if you look at the shape of this country, if you imagine this is the chin, this is the nose, he's looking sideways. This is kind of his hairline. It actually looks like a guy. So this is Chad, the country of Chad. All right. So Susie notices that Chad doesn't feel well. And he asks Susie, what do you think might be wrong with me? Since Chad looks unwell, Susie takes a look at him and says, wow, his lips, his lips, Libya, here's Libya right here above Chad. So Chad doesn't feel well. His lips are super big and asks him what he ate for lunch. Turns out he had had tuna for lunch. This is Tunisia. And it turns out he must be allergic, allergic, Algeria to tuna. So Chad's lips, Libya, were so big because what had he eaten for lunch? He had eaten tuna, Tunisia, and was allergic, must be allergic to um, tuna. So his eyes were red. His eyes were red because the Sahara Desert is so full of sand and it's constantly blowing a lot round that so between the red, big swollen lips and the red eyes, he thought he must be dying. So he was so excited to find out he wasn't dying and that it was only sand and only an allergy that he plays his maracas, his maracas in happiness, Morocco. He celebrates by shaking his maracas, okay? Susie continues on her trip um, along the Nile and she meets up with her friend, Victoria. This is Lake Victoria right here. Susie asks Vicky if she knows anything about why the Red Sea is red. Victoria doesn't know, but she's like, hmm, I know a guy. I know a guy. His name is Ken, Kenya. And she heard that he might have killed a man. <gasps> Mount Kilimanjaro, Kilimanjaro. And she's not sure. So they meet up with Ken safely, of course. And it turns out he's a really nice guy because he gives them a cornucopia. If you look at the, this country, it actually looks like the shape of a cornucopia. Ethiopia. So what a nice guy. He gave them a fruit basket, a cornucopia. They decide to go to the very south of Africa to look for answers. So they go to the very tip of Africa for answers. Once they get there, they're mad because he runs out of gas in their car. He runs out of gas in their car, Madagascar. He's mad about being out of gas in his car. Madagascar is this island right here. 
they get more gas and they head to their friend Molly's house. This country is Somalia, Molly's house. Turns out Molly is wicked into science and she knows why the Red Sea is called the Red Sea. Finally, some answers. It's because of a seasonal bacteria called Trichodesmium ethremium. Thankfully, they find out why the Red Sea is red because of a bacteria. They found the answer. So all three girls decide to do a celebration and they shake their booties. They shake their booties. Here's Djibouti right here, this country, little tiny country is called Djibouti. So they shake their booties in celebration because they finally found out why the Red Sea was red because of bacteria. So Susie from the Suez Canal was very happy. I hope this study story helps you do better on your quiz. Good luck.